Hi everyone, this is the last set of advanced technology techniques for polynomials and rational equations. Um, this difficulty level is considered hard and this is part two. So the first question we have is, we have three problems here. Which of the following is a factor of p to the x equals this polynomial here? So um, there's your polynomial. And what we're going to look at is the constants first and eliminate and then just do long division. So our constant here is 20. And we're going to look at the constants here. Now, 3 doesn't divide 20. So A can't be the answer and neither can D. Now, negative 2 divides 20. And 5 divides 20. So for this one, we're just going to have to do long division and we'll start with uh, B and hope we get lucky. And when it means it's a factor, it means the remainder is uh, 0. So we're just going to do long division and start with uh, 3x minus 2 and see if it divides this long polynomial. We have 12x to the 4th plus 13x cubed minus 35x squared minus 16x plus 20. And so you ask yourself, what times 3x gives you uh, 12x to the fourth? And that would be 4x cubed. All right, and then just multiply both terms. You get 12x to the fourth minus 8x cubed. Now you take this and subtract. The first term goes away. And two negatives make a positive, so you're going to get 21x cubed. And bring down this term. And repeat. So what term times 3x gives you 21x cubed? And that's going to be uh, 7x squared. So we multiply, you get 21x squared minus 14x squared. All right, and we're going to subtract. First term goes away, and the two negatives, um, this is going to be minus, so it's going to be plus. This is going to be negative 21x squared. And bring down your 16x. Okay, the next one's going to be minus 7x. Do the same thing. Multiply um, the binomial here, and we get negative 21x squared plus 14x. And we're going to subtract. It elimin eliminates that first term. This is going to be negative 30x. And then bring down your last term here, your constant. And so it's going to be 10, no, negative 10 here. Then multiply your binomial, you get negative 30x uh, plus 20. These terms are the same, so basically when you subtract, they get 0. So it does divide it. Um, it is a factor because the remainder is equal to 0. So we got lucky. If it wasn't, we would have had to try part B. Okay, that's one method of doing it. Next one is basically the same thing. So this is um, basically this is partial fraction decomposition. So it's saying if the expression 9x squared divided by 3x minus 2 is rewritten in this form with the a plus 4 over this, what is a in terms of x? So basically what you want to do is um, divide 3x minus 2. We're going to um, divide that by 9x squared. So that's 9x squared. And go ahead and put your placeholders for your x and your constant. And let's see what we get. When you do that, do the same thing, you get 3x, so this would be 9x squared minus 6x. I'm going to subtract. 
This is going to give you 6x plus 0. And then this is going to be plus 2. Multiply, you get um, 6x minus 4. And then you subtract. And that's going to be plus 4. So your remainder is 4. This is plus 4 over your divisor. So you have 3x minus 2. So basically, if you look at this, and we compare this, this is your A, and this is your remainder. We already have these two matching up here. So my A equals 3x plus 2, which is B. Okay. And the last one. So this one's considered the hardest. And... Um, and I just wrote it out, so I hope I'll read it. It says, which of the following is divisible by 2x plus 5? So we're looking at each one of these equations. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this 5 and these constants here and see what we can eliminate. For example... Um, I'm going to do A. So if I do, uh, for A, if I do PX plus QX, and I'm just looking at this, so I'm going to add negative 2 plus a negative 1. That's going to give me negative 3. Well, negative 3 is not divisible by 5, because we're looking at this 5. So not divisible by 5. Now, let's try B. We have 2 times negative 2 plus a negative 1, which gives us negative 5. Well, negative 5 is divisible by 5. So that works. So this one's, this one's good. Now, let's try this one. We have P which is my negative 2 plus 3 times negative 1. That gives me negative 5. Yes, that is divisible by 5, because that would be negative 1. So this works. So these two work. And let's try the last one. 2 times negative 2 plus 3 times negative 1. And that gives us um, negative 7, which is not divisible by 5. So these two are out. So what we're going to do is check B and see if it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply my P by 2. So this would be 2 times 6x squared plus 7x minus 2 plus your Q. So that's 2x squared plus 7x minus 1. So I'm going to give you 12x squared plus 14x minus 4 plus 2x squared plus 7x minus 1. And that's going to give you 14x squared plus 21x minus 5. So I clean that up. Now we're going to divide this here by 2x plus 5 and see if we if B is the answer. So basically we're going to do 2x plus 5 into 14x squared plus 21x minus 5. So the first we have 7x that gives you 14x squared plus 35x subtract and you get negative 14x, bring down the negative 5. And when you write up here, this will be minus 7, negative 7, so that's negative 14x minus um, 35. You can see right away that uh, your remainder is not 0, so b is not the answer. So it has to be c. The remainder should be 0 if it's a factor, and it's not. So 
if you want to check the other one, um, you can. I suggest you try to go ahead and check that. I'll go ahead and um, set it up if you want to do it to make sure that you uh, already did the uh, work on it. So I'm going to go ahead and divide it up. So it's going to be 6x. So you get 12x squared plus 30x. Then subtract. And that gives you negative 2x minus 5. And this is going to be minus 1. And that's going to get negative 2x minus 5. And that does give you 0 when you subtract. So this was your answer. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. The next set we're going to do is function and function notation. Bye-bye.